Hello everyone and welcome to this week's news and community spotlights. In news for this week, Unreal Fest is coming to a city near you in 2024. We're bringing together creators and developers from across different industries to share ideas, network, and supercharge projects. And there's now more places to do that than ever. Here's what the global lineup looks like. For any developers from Australia, New Zealand, and Southeast Asia, Unreal Fest will return to the Gold Coast from May 29th through the 30th, and speaker proposals will be open through March 18th. We'll also be back in Prague for our European Unreal Fest from June 18th to the 20th, and speaker proposals will be open through February 29th. Our flagship event moves to Seattle, Washington this year, so mark your calendars for September 30th to October 3rd. Lastly, for our other events, you'll have to keep an eye on the feed for extra details as they come out. But in the meantime, the last confirmed cities are Seoul in South Korea, Shanghai in China, and Tokyo in Japan. If you're able, come join us for an unforgettable time. It's officially that time again. February's free 3D assets are here. Dive in and explore these useful resources available to download at no extra cost, brought to you thanks to a partnership with the talented creators on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. First up, Replicated Building System by Atlas Studio gives your players the power to build worlds as a team using this replicated blueprint-based system. There's a range of handy features to get your teeth into, including functionality to spawn and use objects, zoom in and out on items, rotate objects, auto-snap items onto surfaces, and more. The system can be used in both single-player and multiplayer modes. Next, Stylized Modular Crystal Mine by Scale3D features a stylized fantasy mine, which comes complete with corridors, tools, and crystals, and features fire and flying particle effects, modular mine tunnels, customizable crystals, and more. Offering plenty to explore, the pack comes with 70 static meshes, 99 textures with resolutions ranging from 1 to 2K, 12 materials and 39 material instances, and on top of that, all assets also come with collisions, LODs, and light maps included. There's tons of content to dig into. Next, Fantasy Interior Environment by Liart Studio is offering a truly whimsical fantasy interior environment pack. It comes with an example level showcasing how all the 182 optimized and game-ready unique meshes can be put together or repurposed for your own magical means. The other aspects of the pack include full collision, up to four different levels of LODs, 181 materials and material instances with controllable parameters, and 485 textures ranging from 1 to 2K resolutions. Next, Stats and Achievements Integration by Artur allows you to quickly and easily bring Steam stats and achievements into your game using blueprints with this comprehensive API plugin. It comes with one level, two blueprints, and eight C++ classes, and features functionality to upload, download, and display user in-game data directly from the Steam servers. This is a must-have for any developers who want an all-in-one achievement setup that can be easily harkened back to and adjusted for your particular project's needs. And lastly, Advanced CRT TV VCR VHS Effects by Chemtezcam throws it back to the 90s with these retro-animated CRT TV and VCR effects. There's a multitude of nostalgia-inducing options in this pack, including general effects like chromatic, distance, and emissive, plus scanline, signal quality, and VCR effects, monochrome screens, phosphor settings, pixelation, and timestamps. These effects and materials can be customized with tons of parameters to get the perfect frame for your scene. Don't forget to go grab this fantastic content while you still can. It will only be available for free until the end of February. Our absolutely incredible documentation team here at Epic has been working tirelessly to update and improve upon the resources available for you to learn from and reference. Here's a list of the latest and greatest to the 5.3 documentation from January. Pages include downloading Unreal Engine source code, Unreal Insights, Lyra common user plugin, using Lyra with Epic Online Services, Path Tracer, actors and their owning connections, Polygroup Edit, Polygroup Edit References, Geometry Brush Actors, Cube Grid, Modeling Tools, Lumen Performance Guide, Lumen Technical Details, Lumen Global Illumination, Development Requirements for Linux, Material Blend Modes, Depth Material Expressions, Sharing and Releasing Projects, and finally, Setting Up Android SDK and NDK. 
Check out these topics and dive into something new this month, or polish up on a well-beloved one. We'll be releasing what all is coming new to you from our documentation team monthly going forward, so keep an eye and ear out for those future updates. Now, let's get right into this week's Community Spotlights. Trooper by Frederick Doust is a stunning 3D model interpretation of one of the creative trench helmet designs by Till Freitag. It's a unique and mesmerizing mix of traditional and industrial silhouettes with a muted but impactful color palette. Showcasing masterful techniques over both hard surface modeling and soft fabric texturing, it makes for some eye candy you won't be soon to forget. If you're interested in seeing more of their work, you can do so at their art station. Corners of Croatia by Giovanna Barsalis is a beautiful Unreal Engine 5 project that perfectly encapsulates a warm, sunny day spent walking down an enchanting and aged street. Using a modular workflow that still comes across as organic is no easy feat, but they managed it with ease while sprinkling in unique elements to keep the scene lively and colorful. If you enjoy their work, you can see more of it at their art station. Amidst the Cliff by Adam Obart is a most definitely and entirely safe jaunt through a fantasy-inspired dried riverbed with the remnants of recurring ambushes left behind. As piles of giant skulls look on overhead, the midday sun does little to dampen the sense of foreboding that this scene stirs. Using consistent earth tones, they mix mega scans with clever landscape building to guide the eyes further down the project into the distance, which begs the question of, do you turn back now or dare to continue? Check out more of their work at their art station. Tortuga Lighthouse by Mia Marusco is an adorable scene constantly on the move. The lighthouse structure on the back of the giant sea turtle is packed full of whimsy and makes the most of some of Unreal Engine 5's key features like Lumen and Nanite. Inspired by a combination of their childhood summer days, Ghibli movies, and the wise nature of turtles, they created a story-packed and truly dynamic scene that lives and breathes in front of you. And we've been assured that whoever the owner of the lighthouse is, they're taking very good care of our seafaring friend. You can see more of a breakdown on their art station as well as some of their other work. That's it for today's news and community spotlights. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.